Hello everyone, welcome back. Coach Hugh here, I'm back today with my LA Waves Let's Play series. And I think we left it last time um, around the trade deadline. We said we were gonna basically try and make a couple of minor moves, see whether we can um, address the, the shooting guard position. Um, we had a, a really, really good start to the season. Um, and yeah, as you can probably see on the on the screen, we have made um, one one move really, and a couple of um, free agency signings to address um, the move really. So the move is pretty much self-explanatory one. We uh, basically moved what was Tim Hardway, Danny Granger, Andrew Goldlock, um, Vic Vernon Kirkland is probably the the pack, main package in the deal, which is the uh, the young rookie that we drafted. I think around the eleventh a couple of years ago for Montrellis and then it was three second round picks um, that we have coming up so the main reason we did, we did this move is because I wanted to address the shooting guard position I felt that was one thing that was was lacking in our um, our starting five and um, we were playing Danny Green who was a minimum salary player there and it was a pretty easy move really to, for, for me to make to be honest with you so I mean we know Montrellis is a a bit of a, a volume scorer. His shooting rate percentages are not too bad. He's not really a three-point shooter. He's more of a um, more of a, a mid-range guy, which is fine. Um, we can, we can deal with that. Um, the main reason we sort of made the move was just primarily just to get an upgrade. Really, I felt that we were just possibly that piece away from being a top three team in the West, and hopefully that addresses it. The other moves we had to make was um, we, we brought Brandon, Brandon Jennings in on a free agency deal just um, to back up point guard position. Alex Albrins, who um, again is a backup point guard position, um, some solid defence from him and perhaps a bit of range shooting. And yeah, it was a pretty, pretty straightforward move. And you can see here off the back of this, there was a couple of other moves that happened. So Philadelphia moved um, Ariza Benbury Ducharm for um, Aldridge, which is to me, Philadelphia on this has just been making some crazy, crazy moves the past few years. I don't know why they need LaMarcus Aldridge. They already have Simmons and Embiid in the front court, and I think they still have Okafor. So, crazy, crazy move. They seem to just be obsessed with trying to get as many front court players as possible. So, strange move there. Elsewhere, um, Milwaukee made a, a minor move, basically trying to upgrade the front court and getting Ennis Cantor for Plumlee in a, a first round pick. Um, it's a, couple, a small deal between um, Chicago and, and New Orleans. Basically, Chicago moving um, MCW for basically nothing. Um, Minnesota um, moved Dwight Howard, who they kind of didn't need for Marquise Morris, who I think is expiring. So probably just clearing a bit of cap space there. Um, Golden State obviously moving Knight out. I think Durant's more or less back for Reggie Jackson, which is a, a really good move from their their, their place really another talented player that they've picked up so it's going to be tough it's going to be tough for us to uh, to beat them even if without Durant if he gets injured again so we've got to the trade deadline I'm, I'm not going to make any more moves um, in terms of how the rotation is going to look basically my thinking is same as before Wall Ellis replaces Gre uh, Green Ingram Noel Gobert Giesen off the bench Aubrey's off the bench for where Hardaway was playing Gasol um, and Carroll sort of filling in the um, the three position um, that Kirkland uh, left. Uh, likes of Jennings backing up the point guard position, and then I brought in Nate Robinson as well, just to, to another just back up point guard really, just in case we get any injuries there. And that's kind of it really. So the other thing I was going to do actually was um, I, I, I've kind of thought about this, and I'm probably going to just extend um, Ingram. I'm probably going to try and see if we can get him a little bit cheaper see if we offer him 16 million see if he takes that oh. so oh, that's 1.6 million 16 million my thought is if we give him that over no raises see if he makes accepts that okay so we've managed to drop him down a little bit Let's see if we can just get him at a flat 16 and a half That'd be a nice deal. Okay. Okay, we'll go 16. No raises though. Don't no raises. Okay. 
So we probably pushed him to his very limits, but I think we'll take that. Nice. So that keeps him locked up at least, um, which is good. Good to see. Means he's going to have a bit of a salary jump. Um, final year, which is a bit annoying, but we'll take that. So we'll carry on the season. So my thought is um, we'll just sim through uh, another month or so on this Let's Play. If we get any sort of interesting matchups, we'll have a look at them. But I mean, as, as it stands, I think we've played, I've played two additional games since we last um, had an episode. Um, you can see we're 34 and, and 20 now. So we're still in good shape. Um, let's, let's see how we get on, really. I'm hoping Ellis brings us a little bit more, just a bit more talent, really. I mean, I'm hoping he'll take a few more shots than Green. Um, I'm hoping he'll be a little bit more better defensively than Green, a little bit more of a, a nuisance. Um, hopefully, hopefully this works out for us. He's only on a, um, a two-year deal anyway, so even if he doesn't perform this year, he's an expiring next year. So we can always look to, to move him on. Um, looks like we've lost a game here to New Orleans, who seemed to be a bit of our arch nemesis um, this, this season. I think we've lost all three games we've played them in. Um, we'll sort of carry on. Um, I, I probably anticipate that Anthony Davis probably absolutely killed us with that. So we'll, we'll carry on and see how we get on. So I'm hoping that we can sort of at least stay in, in this sort of shape. I'm, I'm aiming for probably around 55 wins this year. That would be a nice um, a nice uh, finish for us. Um, we're probably going to be in that fourth to sixth seed. I think it looks like we've lost again now, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, I think since Ellis has come, we've gone one and three. So that's not too too promising for us. Let's take a little look at this one and see how we actually got on. Um, I think we're against Denver, who have... Um, had a really really good season um, I think they're about 34 and 14 or so so it might be 17 or 14 but um, they've had a really good season yeah Jokic here 50 points against us so okay Ellis went 1 of 10 so that's, that's not good <laughs> hopefully he does a little bit better than that I'm hoping he doesn't take too many shots off of some of our better players and we just um, he just takes the shots when he, we kind of need him to really and um, that's that's my plan with this. Okay, so another tough game against Minnesota. Let's see if we can pull this one out of the bag. Doesn't look like that's happened. Looks I think we lost that one again. Kind of one that I expect us to lose. We've got a bit of a tough run, I think, for the next sort of couple of weeks or so on this. Um, I think we've got Golden State coming up soon as well, so it's going to be tough for us. Um, just hoping we can sort of stay where we are, really. Um, Yeah, so going to take next. So <coughs> going to be a, another tough one. Yeah, another loss for us. So we're sort of thirty-four and twenty-four now. We've lost, I think, three or four back to back now, which is not good. But I think, if I'm rightly, that, that may be the end of our our tough run now. Hopefully, we can. Um, oh, okay, so we've got Portland next, which is a tough must-win game really for us because they're just behind us. Hopefully, we can get the result that we need here. Yeah, it looks like we've got the result there, which is good. We'll have a little look at that box score and see how we get on. But I think we're, we're probably in that, I say that middle ground now. We're probably better than a 6th, 7th and 8th seed. We're probably not as good as a top 3 seed. So we're probably in that sort of 5th and 5th, 4th um, and 5th position, really. Um, kind of in between the pack, really. So, okay, so Ellis got 3 of 7, which isn't too, too great, but... He's playing a little more heavy minutes, so not too bad. Auburn's had a good night, so that's good to see that someone we picked up on the minimum salary is actually had a performing better than the guy we traded for. So we'll see how this goes. But I'm just hoping Ellis just gives us a little bit more scoring punch and a little bit more 
like I said, defence, a little bit more, just general better play. So we'll see how this goes, really. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping if we can win, I think I said 55 games, but I think 50, 50 games would be a nice nice one for us. Cause I think that would keep us in sort of that, that fifth or fourth position, really. Um, so it looks like we're playing Golden State again. <laughs> Fantastic. Yet another loss, probably. Yeah, looks like it. I just, I generally don't know how, how we're going to beat Golden State. They've just got so much talent on that team. We'll have to really, if we do get to that stage, we'll have to really think about matchups. And I think the same with Minnesota as well, because um, I, Denver, I'm not too worried about. I know that they're having a really good season, um, but I think we there there are things we can do in the come playoff time to nullify Jokic a little bit. And I think the rest of that that team, we have some better players that we can utilise there. So I'm not too worried about Denver. It's Minnesota and Golden State. I'm just hoping that. One of them can get knocked out, a bit in a bit of an upset, really. If I had to pick, I'd love to see Golden State get knocked out early because they're so, so tough to play against, really. Um, as we will come and play Dallas, hopefully we can get the win there. Um, that'd be a nice one because Dallas is complete in tank mode. I think they've only won 16 games this year, so hopefully we can get that result. It looks like we've got an injured player as well, so we'll have to have a quick look at that now. So it looks like we've got the win there as well, which is good. Yeah, okay, it's so not too bad. Ellis and Auburn seem to be playing fairly well together, so that's good. Uh, who's got injured? Oh no, please don't tell me this is for ages. Go Bears out, we are, we'll have to really readjust the, uh, the rotation here. Let's have a look, see what his injury is. Okay, so strain calf, so I'm not gonna pull him out of the rotation. Um, I think he'll be okay. I mean, we, he doesn't shoot a lot anyway, so um, we kind of just need him there just as a body, really. A lot of daily games going on, it looks like. I try to think when their season ends on this. I think it ends about a month or so before our playoffs start. I think, or it might be whilst the playoffs are on their sort of final games are. But it looks like we're around what are we we're around thirty or so wins. It looks like Houston, Portland, New Orleans are just sniffing around just below us, a few games back. So I'm hoping we can stay above them. That would be really good. I mean, ideally, if we can get home court advantage that would be fantastic as we play Denver which is a tough game see if Jokic scores 50 points against us again but I mean I think the main thing from us this season is that we've managed to beat the teams that have been around us we haven't managed to beat the top few teams top couple of teams Minnesota and Golden State but everyone below us we've managed to beat we've managed to get results against teams that aren't in the playoffs and it looks like we've got a really good win against Denver there which is good and um, we'll take a look at that box score so yeah Ellis 5 of 11 which is much better performance from him John Wall having a good game as well um, which is good to see Auburn's has surprisingly really been really efficient from what we've seen so far so we'll have to have a little look at his stats in a bit but you know we're playing a lot of our starters heavy minutes I'm aware that we are going to probably pick up injuries, but we have to kind of keep that going because I want us to be a comfortable playoff position this year. Um, Looks like we've got a couple of days break, which is good. Hopefully, gets go bear 
back back from injury a little bit quicker. Um, means we don't have to sort of rely on him to uh, sort of play injured um, for an extra game or two, which is good. Um, Thirty-seven and twenty-five at the moment, which is which is good. Game against Utah. Hopefully, we can just dig out the win there. Looks like we've lost that, which is a bit disappointing. Utah are in sort of no man's land, sort of looking at lottery, so that's a bit annoying. We've been a bit of our bogey team this year, Utah. I think we're now one and two against them. Um, I think we lost early on against them, and we've lost again now, so that's a bit frustrating, but. Like I said, I mean, the main thing this season has been we've been beat the teams around us, which has kind of kept us where we are. Okay, so we've got next, we've got San Antonio next. They were 28 and 37, they seem to have had a little bit of a comeback. Um, they sort of went into tank mode and they sort of must be sort of borderline playoffs now around that. They can get win a few more games. Hopefully we can get the win there against them. It's a team that we should be beating, hopefully. A team that's not in the in the actual direct playoffs at the moment, so um, I think the team's obviously a bit a bit short staffed at the moment because they obviously moved Lamarcus Aldridge as we saw it earlier. And I think they've literally got just Kawhi Leonard and, and that's it. So, yeah, it looks like I've got a good win there, which is good. And we've just got Memphis as well next. Hopefully we can get the win there. No, we can't get the win there. Lost by three. That's a frustrating one. Okay, let's have a quick look see how we're doing in the standings. So yeah, we're currently in the, the fourth position. Joint with the Clippers and then a few games back, New Orleans, Portland, Oklahoma City. So, you know, we're on a one loss streak. We've been really good at home actually, surprisingly this year. Um, the other thing I was going to have a look at was just all prints, was just to see what his shooting percentages are. Because he's been surprisingly quite good. Yeah, so five fifty six percent. That's really good. In sixteen minutes I'm I'm happy with that. Obviously none of it is really from three point range, it seems to all be from mid range or right in close, but that that's fine. That's uh I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll go up to uh we'll sim up to March or so, sort of the end of March and then we'll end this episode. But I'll probably then go straight through to the sort of playoffs and then we'll do a recap next episode. Um So it looks like we've got no game this time, and we've got a game the following day. I mean, there may be an argument that if All Prince is, is doing so well, I mean, I'll have a look at the lineups outside of the uh, the episode that we possibly play All Prince as a starter and then play Ellis off the bench for a bit of scoring punch. I mean that's not what I kind of wanted to do when I obviously traded for him. I wanted him to sort of be a, a starter for us, but um, we'll see. I mean, big game next against Houston. Hopefully we can pull that one out of the bag. Yeah, okay, good. We've managed to get that win as well, which is really good. Just got to keep those teams that are below us just at bay and just 
just keep them from from obviously uh, going past us really if we can keep that top four seed that would be really really good Just, let's just go to the end of the month. Yeah, we'll see them there. So 39.27 at the moment, that's not too bad. Obviously, thinking ahead a little bit until until the uh, the playoffs. If we're fourth seed, we'll probably be playing the fifth seed, won't we? So I think that's currently Portland, and we've we've managed to get some good wins against them at the moment. So hopefully, you know that that matchup would favour us or, or the uh, the Clippers. I think we've managed to get good wins against them as well this year. So hopefully that that work out right for us. Looks like we've got a win there. Don't know who we play. We'll have to have a little bit of a recap after this has um, sort of run through. Um, it seems to be taking its time, so we'll have a little bit of a flick through before we end the episode. Just see who we've got some wins against and losses against, I should say as well. But I mean, our strength of schedule must be quite difficult on this because we've we've played, I think, Golden State like three times this year. Um, we've played Minnesota I think three times we seem to have played a lot of games against the top teams we haven't played that many Western, uh, sorry, many Eastern teams this year from what I can remember Probably, I think Cleveland a couple of times but okay it looks like we've got enough win there as well So it looks like we've dropped one there. I mean, the thing is, I mean, for the key for us is obviously is that I think we've got some good balance in the roster, so we can quite easily move the likes of Noel to the five. We can put Gobert on the bench. We can move Ingram between sort of two, three, and four position. So in terms of matchups in the playoffs, I think we've got some good flexibility there. I mean, Ellis can obviously come off the bench. We've got. Uh, the likes of um, Gasol, who who can play some minutes, um, so we can always we can go big and we can we can go small against teams, which is really good. Um, we'll see how matchups come. I mean, I'm hoping, like I said, that we've got a little bit more, um, a little bit more strength in the starting five now. So hopefully that that works out okay for us. Um, I'm hoping that we can possibly um, utilise sort of Gobert in the playoffs and that we can put him against the best post player and um, expect him to lock, lock that player down. We can then let Noel um, sort of play against the weaker one to, to get um, to get the points. Um, Ingram also can sort of play a little bit undersized. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this team and excited about to see how it does in the playoffs because I think balance-wise, we're, we're obviously in a little bit better shape than we were last year. 
we obviously um, have a full year of John Wall now as well which is good um, I'm just hoping he can keep up his performances as well and obviously Ellis, the Ellis move should hopefully um, just give us a little bit more scoring punch as well which is what I'm hoping for as we've gone 42 and 29 looks like so I think we've gone what well, that must be 2 and 2 now over this period so a bit middling which is not good Let's hope we can, oh, looks like I've dropped a game there as well. Let's hope we can sort of hold on to that fourth seed. That would be really, really good. That will show some really good progress as well. Okay, let's have a quick look and see how we've gone. So scroll down on here. So yeah, I think we've won three sort of back to back Houston, Brooklyn, Phoenix, and we've gone sort of a bit patchy really. Lost to disappointing loss now to Indiana, which one that stands out to me, and Chicago. They're two teams that I'd kind of expect us to beat because they're not in, in the playoff hunt in the East, so that's a little bit disappointing. Where does that leave us in the standing? So that's the question. Does that mean we've now sort of dropped back into sort of that fifth to sort of sixth, seventh seed, really? Nope, so we're still fourth. We're just one game one game ahead of the, uh, well, pretty much everyone. So New Orleans, LA Clippers, and Portland seem to be sort of a couple of games back of us. We're five games away from sort of dropping out, which is good. Miles away from that top three, though. Looks like Golden State seem to have stretched out their lead. In the east, Milwaukee seems to have taken over Philadelphia. Boston is still about. Cleveland hanging on. Well, there's an interesting map battle for sort of the last playoff seeds there. New York, Cleveland, Indiana, Orlando sort of all fighting for it, and Miami really. So that, that could completely change by next time we look at that. So I think what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to uh, sim through the rest of the season. I mean, we've only got a couple of games left, one month left. Um, and then we'll, we'll come back next episode at the playoffs and we'll see how we get on. Um, hopefully we have a good matchup, which would be really good. Um, like I said, we'll see how it goes. But as always, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. And you can always subscribe to follow the episodes as they come out.